I would like to thank and acknowledge that we are working on the unstated territories of Musqueam, Coquitlam, Katsi, Kakite, and uh, Squamish First Nation communities. Thank you. My name is Paris Abraham. Uh, I am the Black Liaison Community, uh, Black Community Liaison for Unique Get Together Society. Uh, we are a charity that helps marginalized, racialized, and undeserved communities in BC, focusing uh, specifically on BIPOC uh, communities. Uh, I have been given the opportunity to lead the Black History Month initiative. Our theme for Black History Month is Black Health and Wellness. And I am grateful to be able to be here today with Dr. Charles um, and have some very important and necessary conversations. Um, Dr. Charles, uh, he is a author, community organizer with 25 years of experience. He has served as president of the Ghanaian Canadian Association of Windsor, uh, the national secretary of the Alliance of Ghanaian Canada Association of BC, and served as advisor for several uh, Black-led community organizations in DC as well. Um, uh, Dr. Charles holds a PhD in sociology. Uh, he specializes in racialization and anti-racism, social justice and media and society. Uh, you have also won several teaching awards, including uh, being cited twice in the academic edition of Canada's premier news magazine, Maclean's, as the top three most popular and one of the 10 best professors at the University of Windsor, Ontario. In 2013 and 2014, he was the Kwantlen Polytechnic University Faculty of Artists Dean's Teaching Award finalist. Thank you. Oh, very, very impressive. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you for being here today. I really appreciate it. All right, so the first question, um, and let me know if I need to slow down. I do tend to talk very fast sometimes. Um, the terms decolonize and decolonization have been such widely used terms in the last few years, though it has been a term used by Black and Indigenous people of color, um, activists, land defenders, uh, and abolitionists for decades. What is your personal definition of decolonization? And do you think it being used so largely and so loosely um, by other, you know, communities, uh, people who may be uh, using it out of context. Um, how does that affect Black and Indigenous communities um, and, and, and the people who are on the front line doing the work? All right. Thank you uh, for this opportunity. Um, so to me, the you know, the term decolonize and decolonization is a very meaningful and at the same time impactful, you know, uh, these are impactful, meaningful terms. Mm -hmm. um, they represent and they also signify the struggle against man's inhumanity to man. Mm -hmm. um, it talks about, or the two terms talk about uh, the struggle against marginalized people mm -hmm. in the tri continents of Africa and Asia, Asia and in Latin, in Latin America, mm -hmm. who have been dispossessed mm -hmm. of their birthright, their land, their yeah. culture, yeah. Or their, their humanity. Mm -hmm. by foreigners, yeah. by their detractors. Yeah. And it is, uh, the, the whole thing is a process. It's not like a one done thing. Mm -hmm. Decolonization and colonization and clo uh, colonialism and post-colonialism and, and neo-colonialism are ongoing projects. Yeah. And that also means that the struggle against this, these projects, you know, must be frontal and must be 
ongoing, continuous. Mm -hmm. So as we all are aware, or most of us are aware, yeah. in one point in a point in history, some people left their their lands yeah. okay, in search of um, you know place to uh, live, resources, and all that, and subjugated um, our people. That mm -hmm. is people in the tri-continents of Africa, Asia, and Latin America. And as I said, they dispossessed them of their birthright. Yeah. And uh, the struggle has been going on for more than 500 years. Mm -hmm. And as you, you asked, what, what do these terms mean to me? Um, they mean to me that a lot of pain, a lot of hurt, Mm -hmm. great tragedy, what is called the Ma'afa, a great tra tra tragedy, you know, has been imposed on people in a, in a tri-continent of Africa, Asia, Latin America. Mm -hmm. And what we need to do um, as a dispossessed people mm -hmm. now is to bind together, all right, and continue the fight to overcome the vestiges, okay, yeah. of uh, the colonial project. Mm -hmm. um, and again, the colonial project, the colonization project was not only a physical um, you know, um, project, it was also spiritual, cultural, mm -hmm. mental, psychological, mm -hmm. and um, psychic, if one might even add. Uh, yeah, definitely. It's exactly. psychological manipulation. 100%. Exactly, yeah. 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 So what we need to do um, is to also engage in a frontal, multifaceted, you know, struggle against uh, these vestiges of the colonial project. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely agree. Um, and do you, do you see people using that term out of context? at all often in a way that could be could harm um you know its true meaning and the struggle behind the word decolonize i think anyone who uses the term must really know what it means right yeah, yeah. and must really use it within the context of the historical impact um, yeah. of the colonial project on people um, of african descent Mm -hmm. especially people, as I said, in the tri continents of Africa, Asia, and Latin America, not just Africans, but also indigenous people in this country yeah. and other parts of the world. They've all been affected. Yeah. And we, we shouldn't use the term just loosely. Mm -hmm. The term should be used in, in the context of the ongoing struggle against yeah. the vestiges of colonialism yeah. and, of course, neocolonialism mm -hmm. we are still you know in the throes of neocolonialism yeah you know the colonialists were sent away in, in the case of africa and and asia um mm -hmm. they, they were dislodged yeah but they still control these areas through what i call remote control because they mm -hmm. left they left you know institutions and practices behind yeah. Mm -hmm. but they still use as levers all right yeah. to control control yeah. you know our people so um we should be very mindful of that yeah and the terms yeah. should not be used just you know for you know for for the sake of using them yeah it must be used with meaning and mm -hmm. be used i mean maybe it must be contextualized and with intention exactly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. awesome 